Cast down in stony gardens, sweet visitor, we heard you say, There grows no grass and none shall pass till some great day of judgment. Well, I've been playing folk music and traditional songs and tunes and contemporary songs and tunes for about 27 years now as a, a job. And I've um, mostly been playing in a duo with James Fagan. We've been playing for 19 years. Yeah, I'm not a fresh voice as a performer, but I am as a songwriter because that's relatively new as an endeavour for me. And it was something that I always really wanted to explore. So that's what I'm interested in presenting now as the, the voice that I have. But in the context of the, the older songs and the fact that people know me already as a, a singer of existing songs. Yeah, I'm quite interested in the difference of being a creator and really trying to express something quite personal through songs. Dark roses, they bloom in his garden And the roots, they are fed upon fears, fears When he preaches our penance and pardon All the petals are covered with tears Well, I decided to make this ostensibly a solo project in that it's got my name on it. Um, but uh, obviously it's an ensemble you know, project. There's lots of great people on the album and I've got this lovely band, five piece that I get to play with. Um, but really I, I had these songs. I, I just had two little babies in fairly quick succession and I found myself somehow with a little bit of time to write, not very much time, but enough time to dedicate to writing the songs that I thought I wanted to write. And before I knew it, I had this body of songs and I'd made an album with James, which I'd written, and I'd written that for the two of our voices. But this, was, this had more clarity because it was for one voice, it was for me. James suggested to me that people would receive the message or the, the information and the sound and everything would be, yeah, would have more clarity because it was my writing and my voice. So that's how the Sweet Visitor Project happened. I, I rang Andy Bell, producer, who I'd worked with, on the Melrose Quartet album and I'd done a couple of bits and pieces with um, Bowden and Spires' things and, and met, met Andy through that in Sheffield. And I, I emailed him and said, could I maybe do my solo project with you? And he was really enthusiastic and he really pulled it together as a producer so that he shaped the album as much as I did actually and as much as anyone who played on it. Um, and that's, yeah, that's where it went. We, we recorded it in bits and bobs because I've got small children and I was in, at the time, about five bands. So we put it together over essentially a year. We started in the late summer and finished in the, uh, the kind of spring, following spring. So that's what I'm now, partly what I'm singing with this band, but I've also been writing ever since. So it's like Sweet Visitor sort of uncorked me and really disciplined me as far as turning into a songwriter, I suppose. So since then, I've been even more into it, you know, even more active and, and writing as much as I can. So I've done the Elizabethan session, and I've now that I've played with this band, the Sweet Visitor Band, we know what we sound like, and I can respond to that in my writing. So I've written songs that are definitively to play with these guys. So it's a whole new chapter. Broadside to broadside, two captains collide. Queen of the spheres and queen of the tide. So on this tour, we're premiering the band. It's our debut. It's the album's debut. But of course, I've lived with those songs for quite a long time now. But there are two brand new songs that I'm getting to play with these guys and which I wrote with this band in mind. One of which I wrote just a month ago. It's called Gingerbread. And the other one is called It Was Red and they're both, they represent 
the next chapter of writing for me. Um, like I say, responding to this band and what they sound like and um, trying to write a little more succinctly. And I'm not quite so um, overtly writing traditional songs or traditional shaped songs. Um, but uh, yeah, trying to go for something new and a new sound. So I've got two brand new songs. Love like a love is breath, still warm.